Hello my friends, my name is Irvin, also known as Kobuman, and today's video is all about the mistakes you can make when installing a GPU, which is also known as a video card or a graphics card. It, I guess it all depends where you live, where you might call it. But either way, I get this question sometimes, and people tell me, hey, I just installed a brand new video card, but it's not working for some reason. Most of the time the issue is actually related to the fact that the GPU is not seated correctly inside the PCI slot. And for that I have a couple of videos for you to actually watch demonstrating this on how to properly do it. And uh, it's pretty simple, you just have to make sure you take your time and be careful about it. Aside from not seating the video card properly, you can make a mistake by not connecting the extra power that is needed to, to power the video card. And from there, sometimes the issue is related to the video drivers or not installing the video drivers and even connecting the power cables and even connecting the wrong video signal cable. So yeah, these things can happen sometimes and it's okay. The main issue here is not installing the card properly. So let's have a look at a couple of different videos or a couple of different clips from my past videos on how to do it. They are going to be very detailed and zoomed in and very clear to follow. This is the best video you're going to watch, I guarantee it. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, before we watch, please take one second to click the like and like click the like button. I'm sure uh what was I going to say? Please click the like button, guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right, let's do it. So in this case, I'm just going to remove this back plate here. All right, I'm just going to remove that, toss that aside, and then we're going to insert our video card, right? You just have to be careful. Don't force or rush anything. There's really no need. Okay, well, I'm going to move a camera so you guys can see a little bit better. So from here, it's actually really simple. You see how this aligns, right? You see these notches? on the connector down here, how they align with this, for example, this white slot. We're gonna be using the one back here because we need more space. But you see how the notches align, right? You can clearly see that we have to make sure that this is aligned properly, right, to this. So as long as this notch is aligned to there, then we're good to go. But again, we're gonna do it on the back one, right? Because we don't have enough space here. So we're just gonna do it on the back one, you know? Make sure everything is aligned, like so. You can see how the notch is aligned. Make sure it's aligned. Align it, align your card into the slot. Let it drop in, right? You just kind of make sure it's dropped in. And then once you know it's aligned perfectly, just give it a little push down. And then it will go all the way down and be fully seated. Now you're ready to go, right? Now let me show you something from another angle. Now here's something people don't talk about often. Whenever you insert these in the back here where the black plate is, there's a little notch right there that you have to make sure that this back plate actually inserts into first, right? A lot of times these back plates are a little bit bent. Now let me show you what I mean. So when I take this video card out, there's a little notch in here, right? And this part of it here this part over here is supposed to go in here, right? Sometimes people try to force it and it could then it goes against the motherboard and you can damage your motherboard a little bit there. But sometimes you just have to bend a little bit here to make sure it fits in here nicely, right? You see how it actually goes into that little gap, right? And otherwise we won't be able to push it all the way down like so. That our connector here aligns properly with our PCI Express slot. You can see there's a little notch right there, just like there, right? So we just have to make sure that's aligned. Um, lastly, real quick, a lot of times there's a little notch in there here that basically helps to keep the, this, that allows this slot to, of uh, the back plate to connect underneath here. So make sure you don't force that, otherwise you may be damaging your motherboard. So just be careful if you're, don't force anything, right? So, so just don't force anything, right? There's the little tab right there. And here's the little notch that we have to make sure we don't, uh, that we have to make sure our back plate is inserted in there. So don't force anything if you have a little, if you're struggling a little bit by, you know, inserting your video card in there, all right? And if you want to unplug this cable, you can certainly do so. So you just make sure, you, I just like to go underneath it because it saves a little bit of time. 
and then make sure you align it properly to this here. All right, just take your time. Whatever you do, take your time. Don't ever get frustrated whenever dealing with computer components. Make sure it's aligned over over the PCI connector right there, right? So make sure we're, we're aligning our notches. And again, take your time. Make sure, don't, don't force nothing. Just make sure it's aligned. So once you know that everything is aligned properly, right? Then you can safely push it down, like so, right? Now our video card is seated in properly and it's locked in by this little tab here. And now that video card is seated in there, all you gotta do is put this flap back on, like so. Now it's fully secured, you're done with this part. Well there you have it guys, thank you so much for watching. If you need a recommendation for a GPU upgrade, let me know and I'll give you a really good recommendation for your computer. Or you can just follow a link in the description, especially if you have a small form factor PC like you've seen in this video, which are really good for upgrading because they're so affordable. There is a link in the description for any of this type of stuff or if you simply want to check out my gear. Thank you so much. You have a good day. See you next time. Bye-bye.